So I've got a spreadsheet here and I've got some data in it and I want to transfer it to another database. Some databases like Access, you could open it in an Excel format so you could easily do that. But another way that you could do this is convert this into a text format so you can transfer it over. And when you convert it into a text format, it takes the columns and it separates them by something like, say, a comma or a tab, a very common things to use. So they are called comma separated values and tab separated values. So what we're going to do is export it. Now I'm right here on the data tab. If you're looking on an older version and we're looking in the data menu, you won't see that there's an export option here. What you have to do is go into file and choose save as. And I'm just going to resize the dialog box just a little bit here. And what you need to do is change the save as type here. And you'll see, looking down this list, that there are options such as tab delimited, which is .txt. Sometimes when you're actually looking for them, if you're importing, they'll end in .tsv. But .txt could be text with tabs, or it could also be commas, but quite often the comma one ends in .csv. Okay, and you'll see variations on it here. This one works perfectly well. So you'll see some slight variations. You might be told exactly which one you've got to use to put it into another one. This one's quite safe. So if I choose that and now choose save, that's now going to export all of my data. Now, the one thing it does is it loses all formatting. So you won't have any of that or anything that you've put into Excel. It's basically stripping out any macros, anything like that, anything clever you've done. It is purely the data. So uh, what I need to do now, do I want to keep the workbook in this format? Yes, keeps it in it to preserve the features. Click no, then save a copy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on yes, and it has now saved it as a CSV. If I was now importing it, if I choose from text, you'll see it right there. And I'm going to do one on how to import in a moment, but you could see you could just click on this import button. So that is how you can export data from Excel into a text-based format like CSV or TSV or .txt, txt, so that you can use it in another program or, in fact, even in another database.